so excited for this video because it combines two completely different interests of mine. I want to talk about a real world Pokedex. Now, what do I mean by that? Pokemon are obviously not real. However, they are based on real world animals and plants and fungi and all kinds of living things. You see, I'm a person who really enjoys biology and ecology and exploring the outdoors. I have several family members who are super into bird watching. I'll often go on nature walks, kayaking, camping, all kinds of just ways to enjoy nature. And my love for Pokemon has always made me wish that learning about real world animals was as easy as learning about Pokemon. Squirtle, Squirtle, Bubba Shark. Unlike Pokemon, real world animals don't just say their name repeatedly. Well, unless you count the chickadee. <laughs> I just imitated a bird. What am I doing? <laughs> so anyway, real world animals are a lot harder to ID, which is why a Pokedex would be really nice. You know, something that identifies any living thing that you see and tells you about what it is and where it lives, its habits, things like that. I did not think that such a device existed, but guess what guys, we live in the future and technology is incredible. There is an app called iNaturalist, which is basically the closest you can get to a Pokedex. You take a picture of any plant or animal, the app analyzes your photo and tells you the closest match to which species it is. This part is a little like Pokemon Snap, which is one of my favorite games growing up, where you have to take photos of Pokemon, which are sometimes moving around or tricky to find, and then you bring the photos to Professor Oak, who rates them based on size, position, pose, and so on. And he's collecting photos for a Pokemon report, which is kind of like an encyclopedia of Pokemon. And the criteria that Professor Oak uses to rate your snap photos is honestly, in my experience, pretty similar to what makes a good identifiable photo for iNaturalist. Things like having the animal centered and large and facing front. iNaturalist also links to a bunch of information from Wikipedia about the species that you found, um, so that's also kind of similar to a Pokedex. By sharing your observations to iNaturalist, you're also contributing to a collection of data from around the world. And this data can be accessed by anyone and even used in scientific research. And even this is very similar to the Pokemon games where the professors often enlist the player to help fill out the Pokedex um, to collect data on the Pokemon for the research. I think that um, community involvement element is such a cool part of iNaturalist. So to any Pokemon fans out there who also happen to enjoy finding and identifying real animals, I highly recommend bringing iNaturalist on your next nature walk. It can also be a great inspiration for Pokemon Go snapshots if you happen to find something that's like the real world equivalent of a Pokemon. I love Go snapshot, it's my favorite thing in Pokemon Go right now. And that is all for this video, I just wanted to chat a little about this real world Pokedex and I hope more people use it because it helps with scientific research and sharing information with the world and I, I love that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Squirtle, Squirtle. <laughs> Baba Sarge. <laughs> I can't do it. Ooh, I'll be, I'll be Professor Oak now. Here we go. You were close. <laughs>